Okay, so I wanted to go in and show you a few details that I worked on today. So when you're working on the mouth and the ears, most likely what's going to happen is you're going to want to go in and make the teeth real bright and a bunch of dark lines in between. You gotta be real careful when you're doing that because um, if you look at the picture here, in my picture, what I'm trying to do is just show my highlights, okay? I'm trying to show where my darkest darks are and where my lightest lights are and forget that I am drawing teeth, okay? What I'm really focusing on here is, is just showing, you know, the white paper and then a little bit of shading ever so lightly to show where the teeth actually are. <clears throat> they are kind of um, out of focus in this picture. They're not too um, deep in color and are, are too, too like bright is what I meant to say. And what I was trying to do is go in and try to show that the inside of the mouth is one of the darkest parts of the picture, as you can see. So this is a level 10. The last time we met, we were talking, um, I was talking to you about how we wanted to level your values. So let's revisit that idea, okay? Your darkest dark is a level 10. Your mid-tones are a five, and your white is a, is a zero. So let's consider that and kind of review what we're looking for here. So right here I have my darkest dark, that's my 10. I also have a 10 in the mouth. So what I did was I kind of let the really dark areas define that ear. So instead of, you know, focusing on drawing an ear, I focused on bringing in the really dark areas behind the ear, which made the ear kind of come forward and it also sort of gave it a little bit of a three-dimensional look. So that's the nice thing about what value does, is value is gonna help make your images look three-dimensional. Because you're, if you pay great attention to the detail and showing the areas that are darkest versus lightest and the mid-tones and identify all those areas and stop focusing on the fact that you're, you know, shading a person, you're going to spend a lot more time figuring out how to actually draw the person um, using just values. So one of the things that you're working on today is bringing in values that emphasis with an emphasis on letting the whites be the white paper that shows through and the really darks as dark as they can be and showing the full range in between. So that is my first demonstration for today.